we've actually, interestingly enough, recently reorganized our teams. Um, and I think it's, it's broader than just looking at analyst and strategy. I think when I look at my social media people and I look at my media people, um, they're analysts in a lot of ways because they're analyzing conversations. They're under, you know, certainly in, in the digital world media, um, media consumption provides a huge amount of information. So our analysts, our media people, our social media people, and our strategists have a huge amount of information about how consumers are engaging with the brand. Um, and they all need a, to play a role around strategy. So what we've done is we've merged our social media, our media, our analytics, and our strategy team. We've put them with one leader. Um, we put them in clusters around our clients um, because it's actually an iterative process. It's circular, it's not linear. It's not about the analyst giving the strategist information who then uses it to put a strategy together um, and then the social media to go and execute. It's about having an iterative conversation around how do we tap into how consumers are engaging and what do we think will be of value and of relevance to them. Um, and so to answer your question, I think the strategist is kind of the glue to some extent, but more and more I think, I think those roles are going to blur um, and strategists are going to have to be analysts and are going to have to understand social much more intimately than what they do today. I think because you have to be operating a lot more quickly, I mean everyone has to have the opportunity to be thinking on their feet, but I think more than that is that a good idea doesn't just come from the creative team anymore. Um, you know, we've also had to look at a lot of what informs our creativity is, is code, is technology. So in your traditional world, you know, you had craft and copy with a team responsible for creative, and that creative was inspired by some strategy. Um, we've now kind of said, well, our strategy is inspired by a whole lot of things, social media, media, analytics, um, but our, our creative has an extra component. So you've got your traditionally, what you had is craft and copy, and now we've added code to the mix because our technologists often come up with ideas that, 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 are, that are as creative as our creative people. So, so it's all blurring. You can't think in linear anymore. You've got to create collaborative teams um, that feed off each other. I mean, we were talking about it the other day. In any given execution, we've got at least eight or nine different disciplines that need to execute. Now, if I want to launch a digital campaign, I need, a, I need three different kinds of developers. I need a social media team. I need a media team. Um, I need copywriters, I need creatives, um, front-end and back-end developers. So it's much more complicated and you have to create collaborative clusters, otherwise the, the, the process becomes too cumbersome. The challenge is bringing all of those disciplines together in a very responsive way, because you don't have the time anymore. I mean, as I say, you know, like I was saying to you earlier, I think we're now, we're in that funny phase where corporates want much quicker turnarounds, information needs to get out much more quickly. But they're not organized that way. They're still thinking campaigns. So we'll plan and here's a campaign and let's get it out. But what they're actually saying is brands need to be having ongoing conversations all the time, whether it's ongoing promotions daily, whether it's an ongoing story they're telling. And businesses aren't organized in that way yet. And, and agencies need to start organizing themselves where they organize, not organized around the traditional, let's plan this campaign and let's put a project plan together and get it out. It's got to be very, it's got to, we've got to become a lot more responsive than we've ever been.